Hey, record living friends. This is Brian from Tokyo Record Style. I am in Shimo Kitazawa. I am where the old Oda Q line used to run all the way from Enoshima Beach all the way to Shinjuku. And the train tracks have since been torn up and the line now runs underground and they've built this big promenade where we can uh, enjoy for the time being until maybe they build a bus rotary here. Right down here is the long shopping street that goes all the way to Minami Shoten guy and the Shimokita Koban. Behind me is the Suzunari Gekijo and Chazawadori. And in front of me is the new Reload Shopping Plaza, which is kind of cool and new. So we're right here in the heart of Shimokitazawa and this little street right here is called Ichibangai and I am going to bring you with me to go visit one of the very coolest and oldest record stores in Shimokitazawa, Jet Set Records. I had popped by here a couple of days ago on a big stroll through Shimokitazawa, and I thought to myself, I'd love to bring you up into Jet Set, but there's some serious record collecting and music loving going on in Jet Set. So I actually made a little appointment to come in here. And so I am going to bring you with me to Jet Set Records. Jet Set is a record store based in Kyoto and it's up here on the second floor of Ichibangai right here at the south entrance of the main Ichibangai shopping street. So Jet Set's a really cool shop. It's based in Kyoto. It's been in Kyoto since 1998 and the Shimuki Dezawa shop opened in 2002 so it's been here for over 20 years well why don't we just go inside and have a look and you can see for yourself the magic that is Jet Set Records The Jet Set logo is inspired by the old Pan Am logo. It's getting a little blown out here, but it is using the notion of Jet Set as kind of a jet setting, trend setting record shop that brings records from around the world to Japan. So it's famous for um, being an import shop, and that's one of the reasons that it pays homage to the old Pan Am logo. Let's see if I can get a bit. There we go. Jet set. Okay, so let's come on in. It's uh, down this hallway, there's a staircase and a little elevator up here to the second floor. Let's just go ahead and pop in the elevator. There's actually quite a cool front door. And I always feel kind of excited when I come here because there's a warm welcome for you right here at the front door, the typical mansion elevator. And so here we are at Jet Set Records. And I'm gonna show you why this door is kind of fun and cool. So you're greeted here by this cool airplane inspired door with the Jet Set logo, the information about the shop, and this very cool little handle. Let me show it to you. I've been saying that Jet Set has the best logo of any record shop, and they certainly have the best record store bags. And there's this cool handle, this awesome handle on the door. And it says here, Jet Set, open 12 to 8 p.m., 363 days a year. It looks like they updated that re recently. And they've got a great online shop, Jet Set Records, so be sure to make a note of that, jetsetrecords.net. Let's have a look. Chan cha cha cha. This is the very cool shop that is Jet Set. It's small and quaint, but very cool and hip and a great place to know about. So as I mentioned, Jet Set is based in Kyoto and the store opened in 98 and it's been here at this location since 2002. That's 24 year, 22 years this year. And it used to go a little bit all the way to the window, but I think they've since increased their online presence and they've made a special space for, I think, doing that business associated to that. So Jet Set has an amazing wall of records curated by the staff 
and by the buyers, both here in Tokyo and in Kyoto. Each record has a well-written description of what the record is. I'm seeing titles from St. Vincent right here, who happens to be from my hometown. What's up, Annie? And I'm seeing a cool Cat Power record up here that I would really love. Yeah, the wall of records is really fantastic, and it's a lot of curious records that I don't know about, but it's new artists. It's primarily new artists and primarily import records. Jet Set is bringing in a lot of records from overseas and what makes them a little bit unique is that they've been carrying on a direct relationship with various international labels for many, many, many years and they've got some special um, relationships where they can uh, reproduce records on their own label and publish small runs and so you can find some really desired records on the Jet Set label. There's some records over here on the other side, which I'll show you, but right here we have kind of like indie rock and J-rock and sort of new music coming out. There's jazz here. There's reggae on the wall behind me. Lots of new titles and there's also a pretty substantial hip hop section. The kinds of record collectors who are coming to Jet Set are DJs. There's lots of great house and techno music and records to spin at a set and like lots of soul records. So you can see break beats, down tempo, jazzy groove, new jazz, new arrivals. Rock, reggae, Latin, Brazil, small jazz section. Here's the record store days. I think Jet Set was one of the featured sh shops on record store day in Japan, or maybe record day. There's two different sort of record store days in Japan. There's record day, and then there's record store day. This record, everybody has been talking about, the first parliament record, which I'm really interested in taking home. And I saw that Pharaoh Sanders single that I'm quite curious about too. And there's a cool tricky record and yeah, you kind of got to be privy to what's going on in music. But this would be a great place to come and learn about new music. This is here's some records that I photographed for Tokyo Record Style. You'll recognize some of these covers and some of the titles. There's listening stations and reggae and hip hop records. I heard something this morning, we're in the golden age of the repress. And I see there's a repress that I would love to have. Boogie Down Productions, Edutainment, KRS-One. And PM Dawn, nice. And Snoop, wow, look at that. It's like, oh, that's quite cool. I don't know about this record. The new Beyonce. Schooly D for Black Friday Record Store Day. And I was actactually talking to Ishikawa-san, who is the shop manager. Hi, Ishikawa-san. Thanks for having me today. He came to know about Jet Set Records by way of a festival that was being held in Shimokitazawa year after year called the... Nandake. The festival no nama wa nandata. Shimokitazawa Indie Fan Club. Jet Set was involved in it and it became a put, he got, it got put on the radar for him because of this festival. So it, it's got a connection with the record store day people. And let's look at some more of the really cool sections they have here. House, break beats, techno left field, new arrivals, hip hop electro, break beat crossover. All right, underground hip hop. Sampling sounds. Oh, this is another interesting point about this shop. It's selling actually samples on the website, which I'm told is not that uncommon, but I'm quite surprised that, you know, this is one of the ways that people are getting samples for their DJ sets is they're actually going to music curators like Jet Set and they're buying actually samples direct from their website. So I think that's been going on for quite some time. And here we get to the Jet Set records, both in 45s and in 12 inch singles and LPs. Ishikawa-san was telling me that the ratio to non-Japanese to Japanese visitors is kind of half and half and that the non-Japanese people are buying primarily 12 inches while the Japanese customers are often buying uh, seven inch singles, which is the seven inch single is kind of like making a comeback maybe. It's kind of like on its way back. A lot of people I photographed who've had Jet Set records 
have been have purchased singles and so that's quite surprising and the prices of singles is kind of interesting because you know you used to be able to buy all kinds of really old singles for you know next to nothing but now all the prices have gone considerably up on old singles but what's really kind of encouraging even though the price point is a little bit high is that people are pressing singles i think that's really cool that the single culture is still alive and i love spinning singles and i i so i'm really happy to see that there's still like a big interest in making singles and buying singles and i'm sure for the opportunity to spin them during sets here it seems like it's got their ranking wall the new beyonce act two is ranked at number one that pharaoh record that i was thinking at is here at six and yeah going down i don't know all these artists but i'm really keen to know about them astrid astrid sun great doubt these are a record that i a record that i need to know about Lots of indie alternative. I think I bought I did I bought a Saint Vincent disc here once. Oh man. Digital Underground, Humpty Dance. Repress. That's really cool. And lots of soul and hip hop singles and Brazil and indie, but you can imagine like this was probably a great place to find some really actually well curated soul and funk singles that will no doubt get people off their booties and onto the dance floor. And this is kind of cool. This is a service that Jet Set offers. They actually will flatten your records. If you have a record that's warped, they have a service where you can bring your warped record in and they keep it for a few days, maybe a week, and then they'll call you and tell you that they've flattened and then you can come back and fix your warped records. This is the really cool record map of Shibuya and Shimokitazawa. I think on the other side is probably Shinjuku. And really nice sound system here with some really cool turntables. Jet Set's interior light game is on. I don't know who's the designer of this one or who is the designer of this beautiful one. But how cool are these? They've got a real sort of Pan Am vibe to them. A sort of Mad Men 50s, 60s vibe. Very cool. And their record store bags are quite cool. I have always said that the record store bags at Jet Set are hands down the coolest ones. Can I see one record store bag? The Vinita bag, meet the movie. The record store bags are really cool. They've got, um, they're made they're clear in the middle and they say maybe Tokyo Japan on the when the records are in here they look really cool and no other record bag in Tokyo looks quite like this let me put let me put a record in here just so you can see it Jet Set also has really cool canvas bags and this one says Sochi no Hari Chanai which means this is not the needle i think in the record i'm not completely sure what the meaning is but i think it means that maybe it has something to do with the fact that we're all vinyl junkies and that we should maybe beware of this this needle and be sure to use the correct needle but also you can see up here the little kawaii chan i don't know who she is does she have a name yeah Mamwan, Mamwan. She's spinning records on top of the sticks. And she was, I think she was a mascot for Record Store Day. Very cool, very cool character. And also, we've got the Jet Set Bears. <laughs> I'd love to take one of those home. They're pretty cute. And this wicked cool light. What is going on here? That is really psychedelic. It looks like they got it out of the, the airport, the Pan Am terminal. Okay, so that's Jet Set Records. They've got a really nice sound system, some JBLs hanging up out here, nicely lit. The record bins aren't too packed, and they've got an amazing curation of records on the walls. There's a Technics 1200 here that you can play your records on, listening stations, and nice friendly staff, fair prices, and even some other gizmos for your record collection. So I just want to say one more thank you to Ishikawa-san. Thank you so much for having me. Please come visit Jet Set Records. Moi, moi, guy. Okay.
digging jet set digging jet set i love it i love it and come check out this Shimo Kitazawa Institution, this very cool brand and one of the heroes of the Shimo Kitazawa record store scene. So thanks so much for joining me for another video. I hope you had fun checking out another little facet of record loving in Tokyo. And give me a like and follow and share. And until next time, I'll see you at the record store. Bye!